going on, my dudes? We are back with another part. We are on part four of Face of the Franchise. Uh, we're going to jump right into it. Uh, we just won the NCAA uh, championship, and we are about to see what's going to happen with us afterwards. I think it seems like we're going to jump in, like, go around with the draft and see what happens there. But before we start this video, please like, subscribe. Everything helps. Just a... Uh, just that little bit mm, is makes so much of a difference. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. College football season's wrapped up and the draft is two months away. Today we kick off the NFL Scouting Combine. Over the next seven days, more than 300 college prospects will run, jump, catch, and throw for NFL coaches and scouts. Kyle, who's your player to watch? Okay, it's the mythical backup quarterback who just won a national championship. This guy who's played in two games. Two games, and we're saying maybe a third-round pick? Come on, the hype is unreal. God, he did win a national championship. Yes, he did. It was incredible. Peter, eight quarters of football, third-round pick. Get out of here. If he blows up the combine like some people expect, uh -huh. he could be a first-round draft No way. Pick. No, Nate, no way. Listen, this isn't a particularly strong draft class for the quarterback position. And you know when that happens, teams get desperate for that QB, and they start to reach a little bit. Guess we'll find out soon. I mean, they were true about that. It wasn't a very strong quarterback heavy. It was a very defensive heavy court, uh, draft this year, so. Yes, I hear you, and I've been hearing you for the last 15 minutes. I'm on top of it. How many times do you need to? Yes, I'm on top of it. I'm meeting with, I've got a few other guys to meet this week, and then I know that there's a time restraint. I understand that. Thanks for taking the time to meet me. Yes. Well, I, I know what he wants. I understand what he wants. He's told me what he wants. You don't have to tell me what he wants as well, okay? okay. Just, can you hold on for a second? Okay, but Thank I don't you. Have a long no, just time. be quiet. I take any of the other top quarterbacks available, and I get praise, and I get to keep my job. Hmm? I pick you, <laughs> a player that barely even picked up a ball in college, and then I, I'm nuts. And the seat that I've got to sit on gets red hot. So why don't you don't tell me cocky. why you should even be on my radar? When I found out I wasn't going to start in college, it became clear that I should transfer if I wanted to play at the next level. But I didn't, because my word means something. And I'm proud of my decision to stick. And if I was running a team, I think I would want players that were willing to compete. Hey, I'm going to have to call you back. Call back yes, I'll have to call you back. Okay. I love you too, Dad. <laughs> On the phone with your dad at this point? Okay. Are you for real? You and I have a mutual friend in common. Mr. Jack Ford. He and I served on the same staff in St. Louis together. What do you think he might say about your ability to lead a locker room? Look, I respect Jack Ford, and I, I want you to... Let me just stop you right there. Jack had nothing but praise to say about you. And frankly, now so do I. I don't want to play for him. Listen. I don't want to play for the Giants. The truth is, my owner, he wants someone with the measurables. You go out there, and you impress and you will be on our radar. Can you do that? Yeah. They're, they're Sounds one good. of our rivals. I don't want to play for them. <laughs> if I have to, I have to. Drink an extra protein shake or whatever you got to do. I do not want to play for them. Okay. Draft me instead of Daniel Jones. Hand over your phone. I want to check your Wait. internet history. You want me to give you my uh, phone? I'm good. Is that just like normal procedure? You bet it is. Oh, we got an Yeah, I'm that. not gonna do that. Well, at least now I know I can trust you with your playbook. Are this gonna come into play? Yes, you can. You're on a mountain in Alaska on a bus going 100 miles an hour. Where are you sitting on the bus? Uh, the back of the bus, the front of the bus? Bus in Alaska. The front? Question mark? I go front of the bus. 
Not middle. Nope. Have you looked at the engine before you even got into the bus? What? It's the uh, freaking Did you check the tire pressure? I hired a what professional else? mechanic to inspect okay. every part of the bus, as he is more qualified than me. And I am aware of my strengths and weaknesses. Are you being cute with me, son? No. You're not. Now give me a serious answer. Would you be in the front of the bus, the middle of the bus, or the back of the bus, or the passenger side of the bus? I already answered the front of the bus. Why? Because if I can see where we're going, I can make sure we're okay. Is that the wrong answer? Funny how many eyes are on us right now, huh? Breaking us down, picking us apart. Every mistake amplified. Speaking of the Redskins. But we got it though, right? <clears throat> yes, I know I do. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm looking for your agent. I don't have an agent. Didn't have an agent. Less more. Congratulations. For what? For getting an agent. Boom. I don't think. Have I met you before? You're about to know me. Quarterbacks, group four. Looks like you're up to throw, kid. Go get him. Or should I say, go get him, client? What? Sorry, guys, I had to pause it for a second. You, uh. No, I'm good, man, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Got a lot of people already. Full roster. Too full. Too full. Okay. So we're in the draft. All right, all right, all right. Welcome to the 2019 NFL Scouting Draft. Because of your limited experience, coaches and scouts don't know a lot about you, so they're very interested to see how well you can throw the ball. If you perform well, you can be drafted early. If you struggle, you might slip to the later rounds uh, of the draft, and it will be harder to make an NFL roster. Okay, so basically play well. Uh, to start, scouts and coaches will evaluate your accuracy on short throws. All right. Throw to the hot spot. Receiver must catch the ball with both feet on hot spot. Okay. This is good. This is good. All right. Throw in the hot spot. Okay. Both feet. Same route. Ah! Oh, I missed it. If I throw it a second later, got it. Ah, I can't mess, mess this up. Throw it to the hot spot or she will sketch the ball with both feet. I'm throwing it too early. Ready, ready, ready. Ready, go. There we go. There we go. Where is he? Basically throw it once he makes his move. Red. Go to the hot spot where she was my sure spot. Ready, go. Ooh, I was on the money. Alright, intermediate throws showcase your intermediate throws. Okay. So we're throwing it uh, right there. Red, red. There we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh, that was a good job. Throw to the hot spot. Oh, it's the same thing. Same thing every time. It's just different areas. Alright. Do it again. Alright, he's got a little move up there. There we go. Ready, ready. Nice. Set, go. Ooh, that was. Oh, God. <laughs> Next. Okay, so they're deep throws out. Farther throws out. Hut, hut. What? Why did you throw it so far behind him? Yes. Oh. 
Uh, my deep balls are so bad. I'm not a deep ball. So. Let's go now, let's go now, let's go now. Ready. Ready. Here we go. We missed we three so Ready. far. It's so bad. Ready. Ready. Go. How did he? Why did he run in? Oh, four. That's so bad. I should be able to the ball with both feet on that spot. I'm gonna go to like the freaking Raiders. Just watch. Ready. There we go. Just watch. I missed four. That's so bad. Ready, go. All right, now run into it. He was running into it. I missed five. We're wrapping up. Deep ball throw. All right. Cut, cut. Alright, that one was on the money. That one was on the money. Same thing. That one's on the money. Perfect. Alright, same thing. Oh, oh, that one's good. Ooh, it almost wasn't. Oh my god, this circle's so small. But it's on the money! I missed five though. Oh, that's bad. Where is she? Okay. Hold on. There we go. Perfect. Okay, ready. Make your little move. Set, go. Well, that was good. That was good. There we go. Oh, Nineteen of twenty-four. Oh, that's so bad. I missed okay. five. So bad. I'm actually kind of pissed at myself for that. Uh, New York fans were very vocal about you this week on social media. How would you feel about playing for the Giants? Mm, they need me. I'd be lucky. I've got to say this. We can't. We're not. We're not. Well, I'm flattered by their interest. But honestly, I just want a shot. If they give me a chance. I'll be ready to work. Totally understand. I'm not playing the cocky guy. What do you feel is your biggest strength as an NFL quarterback? Calm under pressure. Well, I pride myself in my ability to get the job done. I'm able to focus and perform under pressure, and I think you guys saw that in the college playoff. You definitely did. What do you say to the critics that think you aren't ready to play in the NFL? I don't listen to the critics. Have any of these critics ever played football? Some of them have. Honestly, I don't care what they say. It's all white noise to me. All that really matters is what those NFL teams think, guys. I just... Let's say this all doesn't work out for you. What's your there plan B? There is no plan B. No plan B for me. That's an answer. Mm. That's a great answer. <laughs> That's yeah. smart. Thank you. Oh, God. Bavarian chocolate cake. Nice twist. That's my client. Why does he look so sweaty? Who is it? Uh, let it, um, let, let it go to voicemail. Build some anticipation. But, but if you answer it, you'll show that the teams can count Just on you. Just answer the damn phone. So, who is it? So I would love to know uh, who it is. Answer it, answer it, answer it. Hello? Congratulations. You're one of the select few players invited to this year's NFL Draft in Nashville. Please have your agent contact our office, and we'll see you in the Music City in April. Yes, sir. What can I help you with? Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes! Oh, sorry. sorry. Wait. No way. That what are you going to wear? out of 24 of wasn't that bad, I guess. I never even thought about that. Come on, Les. Think. What is he going to wear? A suit? A suit. Oh, my God. I don't... Yeah. I don't have a suit. We can purchase one. Have they ever watched an NFL draft? Okay. Give me good. Ah, oh, he's gonna show up in shorts and a t-shirt. Huh? It's a winner right there. Yeah. Come on, give him a turn. Give him a spin. That's it. Yeah, drink it all in. Okay, you don't have to do that. It's okay. I don't think I have to do that. Okay, right. Give me the over shoulder look. There he is. Look right here. Looking good, man. Or just you, please. Yeah, yeah, no. Take it all in. Yeah. Yeah. Get right there, right there. Don't move, don't move. Don't move, don't move. 
Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, this guy. <laughs> I really don't like him. I don't know why. He's weird. Welcome to the first round. Oh, why do I feel like we're not going to go in the first round? I want to go in the first round. This guy's an asshole. Ooh. This guy's a... He's stupid. How can you fall asleep during this? What are you expecting to see tonight? Well, I'm just waiting I get so hype every year. Not knowing what's going to happen with the first pick and Kyler Murray specifically. That to me is the biggest story in this entire draft. And for me, over the last few years, it's been about movement to get quarterbacks. You know, I'm looking to see, is there going to be some movement? Are people going to start jumping up? <laughs> Six picks left in the first round. <laughs> Can't afford my condo representing a second rounder. Sorry. You need more clients. What? Dude, shut up. Someone here. Six. Stop talking. Hey, anybody know how much a uh, 26th pick makes? No? The, if that's the, the bank Raiders? calling about my condo loan, tell them I'm not here. If it goes by, I think it was the Raiders who were the 26th or 25th. Hello? This is oh, no, Rick Banjo, head coach of the Devil oh. Broncos. We've had our eyes on you for a while. We're hoping to be able to add you to the team. And congratulations, and hopefully you'll be ready to compete. Yes, sir. I am so appreciative for the opportunity. I'm going to come ready to work, okay? That's what I like to hear. Welcome to the team. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, it didn't go by the same one. They got the 26 pick. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. We're a Denver Bronco. We're a Denver. We're a Denver Bronco. We're a Denver Bronco. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't have anything against them. Play a zone. Yeah. Yeah. Go. The Denver Broncos select. Oh, we're gonna have Philip Lindsay as our running back. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'll take it. You know what? It's better than the Giants. Let's start at the top, gentlemen. The Broncos. Mm -hmm. Draft winners, draft losers. Ah, the who is the hers? <laughs> How could you call them they, look, they filled the need Losers? at quarterback. That's great. They filled the need. They got a quarterback. Yay! And they spent a first round pick on a six round talent. That's a winner? <laughs> six round talent? Did you watch this dude play? Yeah. Did you see him at the Thank combine? you. Are you Thank serious? You. He's been jumping up the draft boards for months. Yeah, I watched him sit on the sideline in college. He couldn't even start for his college team. He's gonna save an NFL franchise. Sure yes. he is. And I'll tell you why, because this isn't college. For the first time in his life, he actually has a coaching staff who is putting their faith in him. A coaching staff that actually believes in him. You tell him, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle was all ganked up on. So where are we headed? Oh, isn't it on the app? That you? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I wasn't gonna say anything because I'm a professional. But for what it's worth, I think you are the guy that's gonna turn things around here for our quarterback situation. You know, I played a little juco ball myself. That's cool, man. That's cool. Had the coach in here last week. I was not impressed all at games. all. I want to see big things. I do a little okay. JV coaching in my spare time, so I have a really good feel about the game. Oh, should have told him one of my plays. He could have used it this someday. Mm. You know, I actually haven't even met him yet. Coach Fangio, guy's a defensive genius, or so they say. And that's all well and good, but our defense was fine last season. Our offense was the real problem. I mean, we have Vaughn Miller. I don't know if you know much about our roster, but if you're smart, you'll get the ball to that Lindsey kid, the running back. He's averaged more than five yards a carry last year. Ooh, I love that dude. And hey, I get why Elway drafted the two of you, but honestly, I think you are the guy. And you tell Elway I said that, or I could give you my beeper and he could... Thanks. Uh, I'll pass it along. I'm... Not really sure how much they'll listen to me, though. I'm just a rookie. Had Chris Pratt in here last week. Good-looking guy. But I think if he fights a Raptor, the Raptor's gonna win. That's just me. That's just me. I don't care how many names he calls me. In fact, I, I actually did some... I do some archaeology on the side. And I found a T-Rex bone in Missouri once. I think it was a T-Rex bone. I was like, look at... Whoa! <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry about that. Cool, cool, cool. Uh... Actually, I think you just dropped me off right up here, man. Oh, yeah, sure. Just right up front. Thank you. 
Pepper, where is it? It's the start of something beautiful, kid. And in this city, if you need anything, if you need alpacas, if you need emus, any type of livestock, home loan, or warranty, you call me. You're the guy. If you... Haha. Uh -huh. We were itching to get out of that car. I think we'll call. This game... It's about legacy, kid. Achievement. Exceeding expectations. Your college accolades, they're in the past. Your draft status, just a number. But your legacy, you start building that today. It's about the way you interact with teammates, coaches, opponents. It's about fearlessness, week in, week out. Overcoming the onslaught of the league's DJ's, top defenders. Right? Demonstrating leadership in everything you do. From how you play to what you wear. It's about laying a strong foundation in your rookie season. Becoming the quarterback I always knew you were. At first, right now, it's about winning the starting job. Good luck out there, kid. By installing your game plan. Okay. First things first, can it I'm liking that jersey. Ooh, that jersey looking good. My player, is that what it is? My player card? This is the player card. No. Here you can see your strengths and weaknesses by looking at your This is your development Bro, trait. Superstar and super This okay. is the abilities tab. Here you can see this is your player's zone ability. Right. A superstar X Factor player gets it. Oh, look at that. We're 79 overall scrambler. We're not even 80. A 75 overall improviser. A field general is 74. And our strong arm is 74. We're so bad. So we'll read these messages. And I think we're going to end it then. Uh, we drafted you because we loved your talent. And we're excited to have you on the team. But you didn't play much in college. And we honestly don't know what. We don't know a lot about you. That's what this preseason is about. You'll be a, you'll be playing the first quarter of our game this week. Use it to loosen your arm, stretch your legs a bit, show us what you can do. All right, all right, Vic. All right, Vicky boy. All right, we got a text from Jack. All right, uh, they're letting you start the few few games this preseason. Good for you. Is there any aspect of the game I can help you with? Um. I mean, our scrambling is the highest right now. I think deep throwing is our worst. But we kind of want to work on accuracy. Let's go accuracy. I like to work on my throwing, accuracy, passing, and windows in the NFL. They're a lot tighter than they were in college. Right, improve your accuracy on short and medium routes by releasing the ball as soon as your target plants his foot and changing direction. Uh, that's what your bread and butter timing precision it takes practice but son you'll got you've got all the tools to make it work okay all right so we got a medium throwing accuracy you received three okay that's cool that's cool you gained one in short throwing cool all right did we do that like up anything i meant to do what that actually like up and hit oh we're an 80 overall perfect overview scramblers are highest right now because that's what we're focused on okay cool 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 all right i think we're gonna end it there for right now i hope you guys enjoyed this part this next part we're gonna start the preseason uh get through it all we'll do a training practice see what it's like and then i don't think we'll play it for the next time just because they take it's like an extra five minutes that you really don't need to do anything for uh, you do get XP for your player, but it's not enough to the point. It's kind of, like, it's not like MLB where when you play it, it's, um, it literally helps you so much more to upgrade your player, but, uh, that's not really what this is. Um, games help more. Uh, so yeah, we're going to end it there. I hope, well, before we end it, we're Denver Bronco officially. Um, our team is probably going to be good this year. So, I can't wait to play the next part. I will put this part out today. It might be a little bit later like it was today. 
uh, but I'm going to come home and I'm going to edit this for you guys so that it comes up, but um, I'm staying on this dedication train with this, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Uh, I will see you all later. Bye, guys.